And then we're on to the last two orb links. Oh, beauty, take cover behind the tree from Darf. Okay, so the two of them will attempt to hit Chua with their inflict. Ooh, 27 and a 23. So 23 hit? Uh, uh, yes, 23 also hits. I assume 21 is not a confirm? No. Okay, so you take max damage from the inflict, which is 15 points. And then another 2d4 plus 7. Is there a fortitude save or something? Yeah, you can fortitude for half on each. Okay, I will definitely attempt to. What's the DC? Uh, 14. Okay. Your so are not particularly challenging. So this would be a 13 total damage. Okay. Ouch. But still flying. Yeah, I don't think anything else they can do will affect you. So then they will both charm person Eurus as their other attack on him. Assholes. You're getting a lot of friends. Twenty and a fourteen. Uh twenty hits. So you can roll your will save. I swear to god, if I roll another three. Hey! Nice. I'm surprised you're still standing. Okay, then they will double target you with Scorching Ray. Don't appreciate this. 15 a hit? Uh, 15 is a hit because I have, mis I have uh, made the poor decision of charging. Charge, baby, charge. 17 points of fire damage. Okay, I think, can they reach? Oh, he doesn't have line of sight to Darth. And I don't think the other one's close enough. Nope. So I don't think they can attack anyone else. They already attacked Chuo with everything they could. And they attacked U Eurus with everything they could. I think I'm out of monsters to slaughter the party with. Oh no. Okay, then we are on to Eurus. All right. So my friends, my two friends here are fighting each other in the middle of a big uh beholder conflict. I know I can't actually grab Chua because he's too small and fast. And they're going to kill me and the goth and possibly also Chua, if we don't if we don't do something about it. So I'm going to tell them to stop fighting, damn it. And uh, I'm going to try and move over here. 
assuming he doesn't take an AOR or something on me. No, he knows your charm, so he won't attack you. Um, and then I will, so let's see. He advised you to try and grapple Chua. Yeah, but I know that's a terrible idea. That's fair. So I was going to move over here, and I don't think I can cast a spell because I've taken too much damage. So I will ready an action to attack Chua non-lethally if he keeps trying to kill this goth and I'll, oh, I, you know, I need to take cover. I'm going to take cover behind this tree. Does that work? Where, where do I move to take cover behind the tree? You just say you're taking cover behind the tree. That's fine. Okay, I'll take cover behind the tree, ready an action to attack Chua if he keeps uh, attacking the goth. And the goth also shot beams at Chua, right? Yes. Yeah, so um, can I, I guess I, I would ready an action to, attack, to non-lethal attack either of them? Is that reasonable? Mm-hmm. Because, like, we need to stop fighting right now. There's beholders. Is is my is my viewpoint of this situation, which presumably I don't think of him as a beholder because he's my best friend. I don't think he attacked uh, Chua after he charmed you. Okay, so then I will only attempt to stop Chua, and I'll say, "Damn it! Stop fighting!" There's beholders, and uh, that's my turn. Uh, ready in action if Chua moves closer to the goth to uh, non lethally attack him. Okay. Uh, then we're on to Lex. I cast haste, so it's me, Darth, and Titus. And magic missile lesser on the little orbling. Okay. Can you reach it? Yeah, my closest is 45. Okay, just checking. That's it for me. Remember, Darf and Titus, you have haste. Thank you. Conveniently, as it's coming up on your turn. Mm. Okay, Titus, you're up. So it's double up to plus 30, right? So 60. How fast did they move 40 feet each round? Was their movement? Yeah, they fly at 40. Actually, you know, I'm still thinking in Pathfinder terms. I guess I would actually have a pretty good chance of grappling Chua. Sure. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that in mind for later. No, no, you can try to grapple me. It's all right. Let's attack. His touch AC is ridiculously high, though. Like The reason yeah, he's also not even... getting hit is he's hard to hit. Also, even if you succeed, it will not change what I'm about to do. Yes, but then you will spend your action using your freedom of movement. Uh, no, I'm okay with being grappled. By him. Wow, that's... Is... I'll, I'll keep it in mind for next round, because I already did the ready thing. Uh, that's not... That's 15... Did you just whiff? I whiffed one, but do I want to drop the thing? I think I have to. You have an extra attack. I'm stupid. Okay, uh, we're going to go again. You power attacked? Uh, yeah, I should just luck the... So, are these things evil? We established they were, right? Yes, they are. So, if I luck it, that is... 14, 15, 18. Yeah, I gotta look it. Okay. And that was the full attack. Um, Because I have to five foot.
Okay, that's the turn. God, those beholders are going to tear Gothsley apart. I hate you. No. He's out in the open by himself. Well, I, he, by yourself. I, I have to assume that he's got them handled. Because he, he told me to go after Chuo, but there's so many beholders. I will put your friend down in front of your eyes. That's my turn. When he dies, does the charm we're offering? Am I, am I stricken with horrible grief at the loss of my best friend? You're stricken with grief at the loss of your best friend. Oh no. I think it lasts an it's hour okay. level or a day level. It lasts like a day level. It's absurd. You better hope Darf does it before me, because I will traumatize you. It was, it was Charm Monster, right? Yeah, Charm Mar Monster is a day level. I think Charm Person is an hour level. Yeah, Charm Person is an hour level. So you're only grief-stricken for 12 days. It's okay, you'll thank me later. After his mourning period's over, he'll thank you. If I manage to kill this thing, which is also a big if. So is it my turn? Yep, yep we're just waiting for you to go. All right. Did you cast haste on us, Lex? Yeah, yes, Darth, Titus, and Lex. Nice. Oh, I better go up and help these guys. If you soften this one up a bit, then I can kill it. I think you'll soften it up by killing it. Uh, that works as well. What are you doing? It's okay, Eurus. Just look at me. Focus on my eyes. Don't look at the goth. Gothly, no! <laughs> Alright. Wow, Darf started being useful. I mean, I think most of the reason he hasn't been useful is just movement speed before. Like, he has the, the attack and the, the abilities and stuff. Now, do I get a, a neck, another attack, or does it have to be full attack? Only during yeah, a full attack. It's, it's okay, I can finish this off from here. This is good. All right. That would end my turn. Okay, then we're back to initiative. Oh, for a second there, I thought that was my 20. Okay, Alex, you're up first. Yeah, that's a lot. I'll cast uh, Orb of Cold Lesser. Who are you attacking? The Orbling and Magic Missile Lesser. What's his touch? That is a good question. His touch AC is 14.
that's it for me. Okay, Julie, you're up. Okay, I'll start. So swift uh, actions don't provoke, right? Um, so acid splash on this gulf. I think the act of taking a range attack still provokes, right? No, it's it's uh, the attack itself won't provoke, but it will initiate his grapple check. After I finish doing with that anyway. Right? Yep. Okay. In any case, I assume that hits, and I will use my inspiration for the damage, which adds a plus six. So, by golf. Now you can do your grapple check. Uh, sure. Or, like, touch attempt first. Well, so the ready to action was to non-lethally attack you, but that was if you tried to move closer to the goth. Um, I don't know how we want to do that. I mean, you, you can't have two ready to actions, so decide which one you execute. Well, I'm this fine would be with an AOO, correct? You don't get an attack opportunity for this. Or making a range attack? It's a swift. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that, that would be for moving closer, because I know what Chua usually does is to move up to them and do the Aijutsu thing. Yeah, I know, but you li I literally like heard him call you to grapple me, so that's why I'm using a swift. Yeah, so uh, DM, what, what am I doing here? Am I making a grapple? or? I don't know. You're doing whatever you're doing. Make up your mind. Okay, yeah, I would do nothing then, because I was assuming that you was going to jump in at him. Okay, well, he's dead anyway, so. Um, now I'm going to how I remember that they have a strong will save, right? Yep. Okay. Um, all right, then I'm fly here. And at this one, I will uh, attack we'll him. We'll take an AOO if you're flying away. Why? Because you just killed my friend. Okay, fine. Take an AOO. Sixteen. That misses. That's pretty petty of you. Okay. All right. Um, that's okay. I'll dispel him later. Um, in any case, so while flying by, I'm going to cast Crystal Shard at this asshole because they have a strong will save. And I'm going to put six points into this. <clears throat> And I will, well, we're blowing all of our resources anyway, so I'll add inspiration on this as well, why not? Uh, 24 damage on him. What is this and, you're casting? Uh, crystal Shard. It's a ranged touch attack, um, which doesn't give a saving throw or a power resistance. Uh, razor Sharp Crystal uh, Shards fly at your target. 1d6 per point spent. I used 6 points. Okay. Um, and then I'll continue my action by taking cover behind this tree this time and trying to hide again. And I'm done. That's 34 because I attacked. Okay. Then we're on to Titus. Um, let's see. Easiest way to do this is... Let's do an acid splash at the Orbling. Does the 13 hit its touch? No. No? Um... It's... It's e it is evil. Does a fourteen hits touch? Yes. Damn. Um acid splashes D three plus half level. Yep. Wonderful. That's the swift action. Um so I guess charge the big guy.
charge and um I can't l no power attack. Thirty one for seventeen. And second round of this. Oh no, this is the third round. So that's all of that. Um that's a turn. Does your arcane strike thing last rounds? I thought it was just one attack. Uh, it says it lasts number of rounds equal to the spell level I use. Oh, okay. Yep, uh, third level spell, three rounds. That was the third round. 94 from a uh, third level spell is not too bad. Nope, and the accuracy is always nice. Okay, uh, then we're on to the Gauss. So we will start with a charm person on Titus. We'll go Charm Person and uh, Scorching Ray. Don't forget, uh, Haze gives you plus one dodge bonus. Oh, thank you. Also gives you plus one to uh, initiative. I always forget those. Um... With the dodge bonus, that misses. Okay, then we will go power word, sleep, and inflict on Darth. Fourteen and sixteen. Negative. Oh yeah, you get your ray armor. I think that's all he gets to do. He just gets to bite Titus a couple of times. Weird. Yeah, especially since he doesn't have any way to pick crud out of his teeth. That's very rude. This is new armor. The second one misses. Titus, think of this as love bites. I mean, I saw you trying to flirt with that human, so there, you have the beholder now. I I was wrong. I charged both hit. I was gonna say you twenty two with a minus two penalty. Yep, I was wrong. The term you're looking for is lying. That is synonymous. Titus, does your character find these beholders attractive or not? I'm not sure. That is a question you have asked. Isn't it great that we live in a world where you can ask such a question and not be prosecuted for it? No, because I saw you flirt with an NPC, and like I'm not entirely sure how humans reproduce and stuff. So you, what is the education? Okay, carry on. No, I'm asking it in character. And I'm wondering what your education is. <laughs> I mean, normal oh. people just lay eggs, you know. Yeah, normal people. Um, so we will go with, uh, Paris Scorching Rays and Inflicts on Darth from the two Orblings. A 21 to hit. It is. Thirteen points of fire damage. Twenty-eight 
23 would also be a hit. Correct. Nine points save for half. Fortitude. Yep. And then we can target Charm Person and Sleep on Titus. So we'll do two Charm Persons. 24 and 16. Yep. Uh, two ball saves? Yep. Mm. Okay, then two sleeps. Uh, second one. Both safe. Yep. There Ow. you go. Okay. Um, that's wrong. I think I used my luck already. Already, I, I don't think I took that off. Okay, so Titus goes 90 night. And then we are on to Eurus. Uh, so what sort of action is it to move a downed person? Or downed beholder in this case? Uh, it'd be a move action. So I, well, so how, hmm. I guess I could... So I'd have to set it spend a move action to get over him, and then it would be a move action to move him or to pick him up in the first place? To move him. Okay, yeah, I would move over here to him. And where's where's Lex at? I didn't... You can just use a standard action if you're using two actions anyway to wake up a sleeping person. Well, he's not sleeping. He's he's dead. You kill, you, you, you've downed my friend. Hey, oh, he's unconscious. He's not... You mean, the, you mean that dude? Yeah, I'm, no. I'm going to uh, I'm going to shout out uh, for Lex that Gothsley needs help, and uh, move him towards. I, I, I last I saw Lex was down here, so I can't. There are like down. beholders about. It's not urgent to revive him. It's it, it absolutely is. He's dying. He's I mean, already I, dead. I feel I like would... the last person he's going to listen to. <laughs> I will cure him totally. Yeah, I, I'm I'm gonna bring him over to Lex because I Darf attacked him, Chu attacked him. It's pretty clear that they're charmed by now, and I need to. Uh, I need oh, to, fuck! I, I, I have to, to dispel you. Somewhere safe. I have to dispel you, don't I? Uh... Random question: If you hit him with a magic missile, can you direct one at me? I could. You don't have to. I'm just asking. Someone can also just kick you. That's true, but I'm kind of in the middle. <laughs> Lex, I think they're charmed! And that's my turn. I don't think Lex has line of sight to you. I I know Lex is yeah. somewhere down there. I can't actually see him. But... No, I, I say meant Darf's, to, uh, Darf's the only one I can see. Line of sight to Titus. He doesn't even know Titus is sleeping. Oh, okay. My bad. Okay, Darf, you're up. So, do the boots and haste stack? I imagine not. Nope. Can I charge the Gauth and then use like a swift to wake Titus up? You can use a move action to wake Titus up if you can get there in a standard action. Well, I thought charges were full round actions. No, you can charge as a standard action. All right. You standard you only your base movement, not double. Ah, well then I can. It's it's sixty five foot to get to. You him. can use you can use a swift to cause some damage to Titus that will wake him up. So if you have a swift that can damage him, 
You can take a five foot step, then move 60 feet for your charge, make your attack as part of your charge, and then you still have your move action to wake him up. Sure, that works. Thank you very much, you're a good person. Yeah, you were so much safer when you were on the ground pr prone with plus four to your armor class. Oh, I'm still prone. Hey, that still hits. must be very confusing for you. It is very confusing. And then I'll wake Titus up. Okay. Thank you. And then we're back to initiative. I really thought we were going to get more than one encounter in today. I don't know why when you built this encounter. Yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, the, it's this thing like re-rolling characters after the encounter. No, it's more like uh, these things get forever to do their turn, so it makes the encounter longer. Yeah, because each one shoots like four spells. Yeah. Because otherwise we just rest and then it would be another encounter. Okay, Chewie, you're up. Okay, um, let's see. Probably take out this thing because it's much more dangerous than the orbling. So let's do that. Five, okay. I'm gonna attack this thing. And where is my attack? Oh, I was on the other side. And I'm flanking. Okay, I can be flanking if I want. Okay. Um, so I do not use any inspiration on this. I just do 37. Is okay, 66. By golf. And now let's continue the movement to take cover here. Yes, here. Uh, and also shoot this orbling and then hide. So I'll shoot it with, um, how's it called? Acid splash. Takes five damage. And finally, a HUD check. 24. Done. Okay, Lex, you're up. Oh, thank goodness, Lex, you're here. Lex, can you dispel yours, me or shall I? I don't have anything right now, so you're going to have to. And yours, you get 29 back, and I'll do a Cure Minor. But what about Gosley? I tell him he's next. All right, all right, I got it. I'll get back in the fight. 
And that's it for me. I could use time hop on this thing and tell Yuris that he gone to a better place with the bluff check. Okay, so the two orblings will attack Titus and Darth to start with. Okay, so <clears throat> Darth and Titus, give me a charm person. Twenty hit on your touch AC, Darth. Yep. I'm sorry. How is he going to behave like yours and the uh, carry beholder around? I only brought him back to Lex so Lex could get to him to heal him. Now that now that the uh, now that Gosley is safe, I, obviously the next uh, the next step is to take out all the beholders that are trying to kill him. And also uh, my charm companions, I, I can't let them near him while the, while uh, while they're uh, so clearly bent on killing him. It's a good thing Lex is immune to charm person. Yeah, as far as I know, Lex Lex isn't compromised yet. I, I didn't. I mean, they've been casting a lot of spells. One of them must have slipped through. Okay, then we will go with a sleep on Darth, Garf, and Titus. Nineteen I'm sorry. thirteen again. 19 hit on you, Darth? It is exactly what he needed. So we'll save again. Yep. What do you have in your armor that is not uh, to your touch? Uh, my... Nat armor. Oh, okay. You get five points of natural armor? Yep. That's pretty insane. Wait, not armor goes to touch? No, it doesn't go to touch. Oh, okay. Sorry, those that was the sleep one, right? So you guys both uh, are not asleep. Then we will target uh, Lex with the pair of Scorching Rays. 22 and 24. Miss, miss. Are you fucking kidding? Nope, and I've got the math ready for you. Your armor class says 24. Oh, shit. Hold on. It's very wrong. <laughs> I got the math ready for you. <laughs> Sorry. No, my, my actual AC is 30, touch is 25, flat foot is 23. I got the math ready, just not the token. No, I forgot we added protection went that way. To be fair, my token's also way off. Yeah, no, it happens to me as well all the time. Okay, well, let's go over this touch AC that is 25. 10 base, 4 dex, 3 mage armor, 1 size, 7 protection. You have a 24 charisma? Uh, actually, 25. Okay, that doesn't sound reasonable. Okay, um, then we'll go with a pair of inflict. And they miss as well. Um, I think I'm running out of spells. Yep. We 
And we'll just go with our two Dispel Magics. Zoom there, both fails too. Yep. I keep forgetting to do that on each round. Eventually, I'm going to roll a 20. Okay, so they're done. So, run to yours. I will charge this orbling over here. Did you learn nothing from your last charge? Well, there's fewer of them now. It's it's not the same as before. That we're, was we're... exactly what you thought last time. Well, but but we have more information about the battlefield now. No, we don't. Stop uh, confusing will... Yuris. He's already did enough crazy shit in this battle. I will uh, max power attack him. The cave is right there. <laughs> That's kind of my point. We don't know anything. 23. I mean, I think a logic of killing beholders is good is pretty simple. Yeah, I... No one's arguing with that. Speaking, I'm telling the him... The beholders there are, the, the, more, the safer we are. No, I'm, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, you're, you're acting... You, you kept saying how it was a bad decision to charge, like, seven times. Well, at the start yeah. of the fight. Now things are very different. That's my turn. Now they're only going to get two attacks on him instead of 14. Yeah, exactly. The likelihood that that plus ten percent is going to kick in is much lower. Okay, Titus, you're up. Oh, um, I guess I can try the acrobatics. See if I can uh, tumble to that orbling. Why are you tumbling? Well, it if I fail, I can still stand up, right? As the move action. Style. Oh, okay. Because you're prone. Yeah. Oh, I should have. You can, you, cannot, you, cannot, you can also crawl to him at a quarter speed. I'm good. 18. Damn. I think it was a 20 to tumble, right? So... No, no. I, I'm serious. Actually, being thrown might be an advantage against them because it increases your AC. Um, that's fair. You, uh, I'm not you get plus four against range. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. I'm just going to stand up and charge, though. Okay. Um. 17 AC, I'm charging with the thing. I'm going to go all the way. I want to see what happens if I full power attack. Nice. And Let's go all the way. 33, and move that. I still have the swift. Um... That's a turn. Okay, then we're under Darf. It's always Titus, then Darf. <laughs> so I will Slow move. as fuck, and then fuck. I will move around into a flanking position. Because I really need that plus two to hit. On the guy with 11 hit points left. I think he's competing with Titus, who's the better DPS or something. No, he's the better DPS. 100%. Didn't matter, because I rolled a 1. You go, girl. There we go. Now I'm back to being normal. Yeah, I'm right at home. Yeah, I'm going to say now it makes sense. 